Hi, I'm Steve Strauss, USA Today columnist and author of the Small Business Bible. I'm partnering with Bank of America to provide guidance and resources to small businesses to help them grow and succeed. And in this edition of Big Ideas for Small Business, we're going to look at that number one most important thing to business, namely getting sales. But in this economy, it takes more than just having great marketing and advertising or products. Let me suggest that the real secret to getting sales right now is the quality of your relationship capital. We asked some small business owners to share their secrets for how they keep customers coming back. What do you think the main reason people come back to your sites and come back to your product and come back to your business time and again? We actually put emphasis on two, two things, quality of product and quality of the customer service. So a lot of our focus has been on a customer service and that could be so some of the channels are the email channel, so it's following up on how are things going, your product, hey, by the way, we see that you're running out of quantity, we have a special, would you like to buy more product, things like that, or we'll have a seasonal uh, right. package for them or, 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 or promotion for them. But we don't go immediately to try and sell them, instead we focus on educating them, trying to give them information so that they can make the right decision as to what they should do. What, what would you say the main reason people refer business to you? Well, because we follow through with our commitments. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you I'm going to call you tomorrow, I call you tomorrow. That's very important because so many people don't respond to emails and they don't follow through. And we're very uh, fastidious about following through on any type of matter that we promise to do. Some of the most powerful relationships I've had and the things that have really developed the most with me and my music are people that I've maintained close and personal relationships over time that I've spent time you know, talking to them, networking with them, getting to know them over over years and years uh, of, of progress. Can you maybe give me an example of something you've done to deepen a bond with some of your customers or one of your customers, you know? They want to know that they're just not a customer, that you come in and, and you know, you do the transaction and they leave. So that's one of the things I try and teach managers and employees to do is to say, hi, how are you? How was your day today? Good to see you back again. Thanks for coming back. You know, that personal touch kind of helps to deepen the bond and, and let them know that you, or you appreciate them. For a very long time, I would sit and take an afternoon a month uh, and I would go through our entire client list and I would think of one connection or resource or tip or article that I thought I had that would be relevant to them. And for absolutely no reason other than wanting to add value, I would send each of them an email a month with something to help them in their business. So how do you market your business and how do you get executives to find out about you? Uh, there's two ways I stay in touch. One, of course, is face-to-face, -face, which is the most powerful connection, and the other way is virtually. As a small business owner, you're at an advantage. You have a small market. Step one, find out where do they meet? Where are they? Then it gets easy. Go to where they meet. Attend industry events, attend conferences, attend meetings. A big part of what we do in order to spread the word about Influencer Conference is to use social media. It's a tool that's especially important as a small business because many of them are free. So Facebook, Twitter, um, any number of those outlets are free for us to use to really spread the word and connect our audience, particularly because we're global. Regardless of the type of business you own, here are some pitfalls to avoid when looking to create new relationships or preserve the ones you already have. First, don't be pushy. Nobody likes a hard sell and nobody likes to be sold in every interaction. So with new customers, take time to get to know them and build trust. With more established customers, contact them in between the sale. Send them a discount, send a birthday card. Second, don't confuse networking with relationship building. Gathering business cards at an event or getting a lot of Twitter followers is fine as a first step, but it's what you do afterwards that can really make a difference. So cultivate those relationships in a way that adds value to those people. And lastly, remain committed to customer needs. You know, familiarity breeds confidence because it allows people to know that you're going to be around. And strong relationships require communication that is more than just about needs and requests. In fact, partners, clients, customers will be less receptive to what you say if you always come to them with a request. So spend time creating relationships and adding value to the people that you meet. By doing so, you'll create some more business down the road.